hello, hello. Welcome to my channel. I am Tori Lynn. Let's blossom today. Guys, Thanksgiving is this week. I am super excited and I just wanted to show you my holiday look, what I will be wearing this Thanksgiving. Um, if you guys are interested, follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Blossom with Tori Lynn. And my Twitter account is actually just blo at Blossom with Tori. But go ahead and follow me and let's get into the video. So, my brain is really foggy this morning. Pretty sure I uh, woke up with a cold. So, happy Thanksgiving. I've already prepped, primed, and got my skin all ready. So, let's go ahead and jump straight into the foundation. I'm going to be using the It Cosmetics CC Cream. I use the shade Fair. And I'm just going to take a pump and a half on the back of my wet or dampened beauty sponge and just work that around the skin. For concealer, I'm going to be using the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade of Porcelain Beige. This is my absolute favorite go-to concealer. Okay, now let's go ahead and set that. I'm gonna use my ABH translucent setting powder. I'm just gonna take a beauty sponge. I like to use my Tarte beauty sponge because I like the flat edges that it has. Letting that bake, I'm gonna go ahead and toss on my brows. I'm gonna use Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Taupe, and I'm gonna be using a Morphe R44 brush to apply those. On my eyes today, I'm gonna be using the Alamar uh, Reina del Carib, I believe is how you say it, Volume 1 palette. We're gonna be focusing on these warm toned colors down on the bottom half of the palette. Um, so let's go ahead and just jump on into that. I'm gonna start with the shade called Coco Taxi. It is the kind of orangey shade, the lighter of the orangey shades in the palette. I'm going to work that into the crease. Next, I'm going to take the shade right above it called Tropico, and I'm going to work that right in the outer crease, right over top of that pigment that we just laid down. Then I'm going to go in with the shade next to it called Cafe Cito. It's the dark chocolatey brown in the palette. And I'm going to work that just in the outer corner. Just to build up some dimension. Next, I want to go ahead and blend that out. So I'm going to take my favorite blending brush and just give it a good blend. Then 
then I'm gonna go into the gold shade in the palette called uh, Melicon. I don't know exactly. It's this really shimmery gold shade here. And I'm gonna use my finger with that. And I'm gonna work that shade onto the lid. I'm gonna start in the center and work it towards the middle. Well, towards the inner corner. Then I'm going to just kind of lightly feather it with my finger over the edge where that shimmer meets the brown orangey shades. I'm feeling like I want to add just a little more shimmer to that, so I'm going to take the Stila liquid glow or glitter and glow liquid eyeshadow in the shade gold goddess and i'm just going to work that product over top of that gold shadow we just laid down this is going to add just more chunks of glitter give it a little more shine she just gives a little more pop than the other eye let's go ahead and give our eyes a break let that glitter set down and let's jump back into the face we're gonna go ahead and set again I'm gonna use the same powder I used to bake my under eyes which again was the uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills Loose Setting Powder. Definitely need some warmth added back into my face. Let's go ahead and bronze up. I'm going to use my Hula Bronzer from Benefit. And then I'm going to go ahead and contour the nose. I decided to go back into this palette for blush today. This is the Real Her Be Fearless Be Limitless Blush Kit. And I'm gonna use the shade Unstoppable. For highlight, I'm gonna be using my fave Mary Luminizer from The Balm. And I'm gonna take my Jumbo Fan Brush here and pop her on. So the majority of our skin and face is done. Let's go back to the eyes. Let's go ahead and start with, let's do the inner corner first. I'm gonna grab that same palette that we used just a few minutes ago. And I think, you know, usually I like to go with warmer toned highlights, but for some reason I'm kind of feeling like taking that same gold shade that we just used and that we used on the lid and popping that in the inner corner. I am gonna use a brush for this just because my fingers, especially with nails, don't fit super well in the corners. I'm just gonna go ahead and put that product in the corner there. Like that's one I don't typically choose in our corner highlights like this, so I like it. I think it's fun, very festive. And I'm gonna do just a little bit of that on the brow bone. I don't wanna get crazy with this because I don't want a gold brow you know we just want a little bit of that shimmer that's on there wow we still have this palette out let's go ahead and smoke out the bottom lash line let's take the brown shade which was called the cafe cito and i'm just gonna take a brush here and work that right underneath 
I'm gonna start that in the outer corner and go about a third of the way into the eye and work it up a little bit. Then I'm gonna go into the darker of the two orange shades that we use called Tropico. And I'm going to use the same brush and work that right over the that brown we just laid down and into the inner corner meeting with that gold that we laid down for the inner corner highlight. Now we're gonna set that about aside for good and I'm gonna go in and I wanna do a big wing, so I'm gonna do use my NYX Epic Ink Liner and just toss on a nice wing. Doing a wing over that shimmery gold shade, you either wanna make sure to use a real opaque matte liner or you wanna choose something that's got some shimmer to it because it's gonna have a hard time covering up that shimmer. But I'm gonna go in with my NYX Matte Finish Setting Spray and set my face. After I set my face, I like to do my lashes because I feel the moistened lashes helps that product just work super well. So I'm starting with my roller lash from Benefit and I'm gonna top it off with the It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. To finish off the face, I'm gonna be doing using a lip trio today. I've got my base color, which is Verona from Ofra that I'm going to be using the Kat Von D liquid lip in the shade Noble and then to top it off I'm going to be using the ColourPop gloss in the shade Atta Girl. Let me go ahead and toss those bad boys on. Then I'm going to take that Noble shade. It just gives it a little bit lighter look. And then top it off, like I said, I'm going to use that gloss. So let's go ahead and put that on. When using a gloss like this, I don't use very much. And I really only work it in the center of both the upper and lower lip. Just to, that's where the light's going to shine. That's where it's going to look glossy. It's where it's going to make it look plump. So I don't coat the whole lip. I just do the center. And it still looks like I did the whole lip. Like, super easy. Alright guys, so I hope you have an amazing Thanksgiving. This is my version of a Thanksgiving look. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It would mean a lot to me and I hope you guys have a wonderful Thanksgiving. I will see you guys next time. Bye.